Let's bring the conversation back home again, and let's talk about Lewis, okay? Now, Lewis is a furniture retailer, and we know that the South African furniture retail environment has been very, very tricky of late, partly because of the African Bank disaster. Remember, African Bank owned Ellerines, and in the process of African Bank crashing and burning, all of the Ellerines assets ended up on the street, you could say. JD Group, Joshua Dore and its associated brands also got sucked up into the Steinhoff Group. We talked about them earlier, but JD Group is no longer leaded. What's left on the street is the Lewis stores, okay? So the brands we're talking about here are Lewis, the main storm, but they also own a thing called Best Electric and My Home, which I think people are familiar with. The market cap here is 6 billion rand, okay? But the company is currently having a little bit of a drama. Price to earnings ratio 7, so that's cheap. Dividend yield historically anyway of 8.3%. But let's look at the share chart and you'll see what I mean. So it's kind of been battling along in a tough environment. Sales haven't been too bad. It starts moving higher. What's that big crash at the end there? Well, they've been charged by the national credit regulator with improper practices with regard to selling the people from whom they have done business, with whom they have done business, the associated credit risk insurance policies. I think people will be familiar with this. When you get a loan, say, to buy a set of kitchen units from Lewis, you get a loan from the company. That's all good and well. They work it out for you in terms of the number of months and the term that you're going to have to pay. But they also typically in this case sell a insurance policy to you which protects you in the event that you are retrenched during the time that that loan is in place so that then the proceeds pay out and the loan is extinguished. Because what they found is that unfortunately in their end of the market this kind of thing with retrenchments is definitely not something that happens every now and then. It happens a lot. What the regulator has said though is that the margins on those policies are too high and that the provided cover is inappropriate given the scale of the loan and it adds significantly to the net cost of the loan and from Lewis's point of view and it was also a thing with African Bank they make a lot of money from the sell captive that they've set up with this insurance. Lewis of course is arguing that they are totally blameless but the share price took a big pike downwards in the course of this argument and now it all goes to the tribunal and there's going to be investigations. Operationally, the company is not doing too badly. They took over the Bears brand from the Ellerines wind down. And as I said, Johan Enslin, the CEO, in the recent results was putting forward a fairly, you know, friendly face with regard to how the business at an operational level has been faring. My overall takeaway, though, was with all of this kind of overhang and all of this kind of uncertainty, Whilst the share price has gone down and some people might think that offers a buying opportunity, I would be more inclined to avoid for the moment, see how the dust settles, see how the mop flops. So I'm going to go with not hot on Lewis for the moment.